So the calories of all of this, the chicken, the veg, plus the sweet chili sauce, comes up to Today is going to be a very, very low calorie day. Typically, the lowest I ever go is 1700 calories for these videos. However, I did have a few requests for 1500 calories and under. So today we're going to try and make it happen while still having a high protein diet. So today we're going to show you the fundamentals of what I would do eating that many calories. So to break down the first thing we're eating, so we've got like a huge fruit bowl. Because it's high volume and it will fill your stomach up, two medium sized garlic apples, a little bit of cinnamon on it as well, and some strawberries. I did also have the banana I was going to eat, but to be honest, I think that'll be enough. So if you're wondering why I actually slice up the apple like a child, it's simply because when you're on low calorie diets, you need to do every trick in the book. It just tricks your body into feeling like you're not that hungry because it's taking you longer to eat it, so your body's been digesting it a lot more. Whereas when you eat an apple, chances are you just... One of your first meals in the day, ideally you should be having protein simply because you've been sleeping all night. The best way to start your day is having some sort of protein. But if you're on calories that are this low, you're going to find that you're probably going to have to supplement some of your protein because some of the high protein foods you, I would typically make are going to hit you past the calories of 1500. So as it stands at the moment, this bowl plus the clear whey roughly comes up to 260 calories, 23 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat and 40 grams of carbs. So that's what I'm going to eat now. Hopefully it should hold me over. And right now, what we're going to have is a coffee. If you're someone that's on these kind of low calorie diets, chances are you're going to be having low energy unless, for example, you're a short girl or a very short man, simply because the calories are pretty damn low. But I will say caffeine helps like suppress your appetite. Try to go for low calorie options. But if you're the type that loves our Starbucks coffee, you shouldn't be having like a 200 calorie coffee because then that could have been a meal that you could have had. So that's something to consider. This is actually going to be my pre-workout for today. I'm not going to have an actual pre-workout from like my protein today. But on that note, what I should say as well, when you're on these low calorie diets, because you haven't got as much food at your disposal, getting the trace amounts of vitamins and minerals from all the food you eat in a day is going to be much lower because you're going to be eating less foods overall. So in that scenario, be sure to supplement, say like a multivitamin. So there's a bunch of different things you probably still make sure to fit into your diet intentionally this time because when you're eating so little, you need to make sure your body is still getting the nutrients it needs. I always say in my head that macros is a thing that affects how you visually look because it's going to equate to calories. And you're going to either gain weight, or lose weight, or stay the same. Whereas the micros, which is the minerals and vitamins, is how you're going to affect your body internally and your energy levels and stuff. Right, take 450, as I just realized that I didn't turn the mic on. But anyway, so the calories of all of this, the chicken, the veg, plus the sweet chili sauce, comes up to 395 calories, 13.4 grams of carbs, 4.6 grams of fat, and 74.5 grams of protein. So it's a very, very, very high protein meal with very low carbs and fat. And it's gonna be very, very filling as well, because 300 grams of chicken breast just sitting there is a lot of chicken to eat in one go. All right, folks, meal done. And I've got to say, it tastes better than I thought it was gonna taste. I haven't had just meat and veg, meat and veg in hmm, probably about a year or so. That tastes really good. Anyways, what I'm gonna have now is the old school low calorie jelly. Yep, five calories per pot. And I'm going to have two of these to hit my sweet tooth. Right, folks, and the next meal is here. So we've got pasta, 
prawns and the chicken sausages are sliced up in there as well this is probably the first time i ever had this food together but it's a nice simple meal i was gonna go for rice but i thought no i'm gonna go for the whole wheat pasta simply because it has more protein and fiber in it and with these lower calories it made sense just to kind of go for the the smart to more optimal option of the two I just noticed one thing I forgot to do is add in corn. That will give it like a little bit more of a sweetness. So I've just quickly microwaved some in. So right now what we've got is the prawns, the chicken sausages, the whole wheat pasta, and some corn in there as well. And the calories for this comes up to 526, around 44 grams of protein, 13 grams of fat, and 55 grams of carbs. That puts us at so far for the day. 1300 calories so we've got 200 calories roughly to play with now i'm not going to have it today but another recommended um source of food i probably have if you're someone on low calorie diet definitely invest in having cod all right folks and now we're gonna have the last thing of the day uh we're just gonna have something nice light and snackish simply because for the day i'm pretty sure my fat intake is a little bit lower than i'd like so instead of going for the floral lighter that i normally would use we are going to go for just standard normal flora butterly which is definitely high calorie this is more than double what this is in case any of you wonder also when it comes to butter i highly recommend tracking it at least a few times to see how much you use on average because there's certain things i don't track like seasons and stuff come all the same but things like butter and sauces the calories adds up so i'd always track the butter at least a few times and after that you'll soon realize that Nearly every time you make toast or bread, you probably use the same amount, so you can just go with that going forward. All right, and here we have it. Two simple slices of toast as the last meal of the day. And the calories and macros for this meal, 265 calories, 6.6 .6 grams of protein, 13.4 grams of fat and 30 grams of carbs. I was right, this does taste better than the other butter. The other butter tastes nice, but this tastes it's much more creamy. Now, as for the total calories and macros for the day, comes out to roughly around 1,500 calories. And the protein comes up to roughly 150 grams. Fats comes out to around 33 grams. Carbs come up to around 160 grams. So overall, that's pretty good. Bearing in mind, we're only on around 1,500 calories. But anyways, people, you ask and you shall receive. So if anyone else has any other requests for an amount of calories you want to see me do in a future full day of eating, let me know. Drop them down in the comments.